Welcome to another safety discussion. In this week's video, we're going to talk about safety data sheets, how to label them, and make them easier to find when you're in the field. Because we've all been there in field locations where we have a chemical, want to look up the safety data sheet, and it's buried in a mountain of paper and we don't know where it is. This is the system you're going to use to make it easier. To begin, start with a binder. In that binder, you're going to have a table of contents. And that table of contents is going to be useful, and I'll explain why in just a minute. Now, you also need some chemicals, of course. So for this example, I'm starting with my WD-40, a can of aerosol Easy Off, and a bottle of acetone, which is a secondary container, but you'll notice it's properly labeled, so that's OK. Now, for my safety data sheets, I have them here in front of me for the WD-40, the Easy Off, and the acetone. So to begin, you mark your safety data sheets down on the table of contents, starting in order of number one. So in this case, WD-40 is going to be number one, Easy Off is going to be number two, and Acetone is going to be number three. The next thing you'll need is something that you get at ASC, which is a specifically designed safety data sheet sticker. They look like this. I'm going to write on the stickers the numbers 1, 2, and 3 because I have three chemicals. So let's begin with number 1, number 2, and number 3. Now that I've written the numbers on the stickers, I'm going to take off each sticker and apply them to the safety data sheet that matches the order I wrote them on the table of contents. So in this case, WD-40 was number 1. Now importantly, when you're applying stickers, don't cover any of the text on the sheet or that makes it difficult to read. Number two is going to go on my Easy Off safety data sheet, and number three is going to go on the acetone safety data sheet. So here's where the new system comes into play. Now that these safety data sheets are labeled, one, two, and three, I'm going to get all the chemicals that apply to a given safety data sheet. So in this case, let's take WD-40. I'm going to get all my cans of WD-40, and for the example, I have one can of WD-40, and I'm going to write a number one to match however many cans I have. So I have one can of WD-40, so I'm going to write one on one sticker, take my sticker, and apply that to the can of WD-40, importantly, not covering, again, any of the text on the can. Then I'm going to do the same for Easy Off and Acetone by writing the numbers 2 and 3. Now also, when you're applying the sticker, don't apply it on the cap or the cover of the chemical. Apply it directly to the bottle because caps can go missing. And also with number 3, I'm going to put that on my bottle of acetone. All right, so now we're basically complete. I'll take my binder and I'll put in my safety data sheets. So that's going to be WD-40, Easy Off, and Acetone. And if I now need to find a safety data sheet, I simply open my binder, go to that table of contents, see the number, or I can refer to the number on the bottle, and look for the number on the safety data sheet that matches. That will make it very easy for me to find a safety data sheet and keep your field site safe and organized. So good luck using this new system. And if you have any questions, you can always contact the safety department. Have a great week.